show you one of all one Sophia's boss. If you didn't know, for the past two weeks I've been in Europe, so if you would like to know why you would have mourned my loss, as well as everything I did on my trip, just keep watching. So the first stop in Europe summer 2015 was Stockholm, Sweden. If you didn't know, I live with my best friend, which makes things around 10 times more interesting. And she's why I have all these random clips. For all you know, they could. You don't know the social life of a pigeon? Like this. What has happened to humanity when this is what we're entertained by? I'm not even sure what this is. <laughs> oh my god! This is basically our entire relationship. You suck. I know I do. Anyways, on to day one of our trip. Hi, so wait, what lake are we at? <laughs> Um, I'm not sure which one there are. I think this is like Brains Weekend. Some of you may know I'm a picky eater, which results in a lot of times like this. This is really good. On the same day, we went to Grunaloon, which is Stockholm's version of Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm. We went on every roller coaster there, but we ended the day with something a little scarier. I'm so scared. How would you say our day is gone? It's been full of much less scary things. This is terrifying. And of course, I would be a terrible booktuber if I didn't go to a European bookstore and film many, many, many minutes of footage. Don't look at me like you haven't done it. Afterwards, we went to Jamie Oliver's restaurant, who my parents are big fans of. Weirdly, the thing Emma and I were most interested in was the restroom. It was communal, so this man walked in and he completely freaked out because he thought it was the wrong one. What's behind here, Emma? And next we went to Rosenthal's Trade Garden, which is totally the wrong pronunciation, but it was one of the most absolutely gorgeous places I've ever been to. Today, Emma and I were left to our own devices, which may or may not have been a good idea. Originally, we were going to go on a nice seven mile run around Lake Brunswicken, which you saw on day one. We ended up going off trail and getting completely and utterly lost. Tell me where we are right now. We're lost-ish. We think the trail's up there. We found it. Eventually. Oh my god, look, it's a fish. We found the trail. It was here. The entire time, we were right down there. Remember this? We bet anything there is one, but instead we're going on this non-existent, flat-ish part of land. Stupidity. Nine miles later. So how has your day gone so far? <laughs> we're lost as hell. Two days later, it was off to the archipelago for Mitsumar, which is a dense area of small islands in the Baltic Sea. We're on a boat. Are you sure about that, you Look that way. <laughs> Smile, Emma. <laughs> I also succeeded in getting our close family friend who's been going to this island since she was born completely lost. But there was a nice view. While there, Emma and some of the other kids did a lot of fishing and they caught 17 herring. The fish impaled itself trying to get the worm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. Are you petting it to death? <laughs> He's got half the worm in his mouth. Yeah. On Midsommar itself, one of my parents promised Emma $10 if she would jump into the 40 something degree water. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. 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 Oh my
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Then we were off to Helsinki, Finland and took a tour of this Finnish fortress, which I cannot pronounce for the life of me. of the design museum which had some how do i put this interesting displays the last two days of our trip were spent in london england and we had such a blast with our close family friends and the first day we went to kew gardens so what are we doing right now emma we're walking up the stairs great job and we're going to do this what is it called treetop walkway thing and hopefully it'll be fun so Go. Oh my god, that's so scary. As you can see, it was not the safest of locations. Wait, where is it? Move. <gasps> The biggest novelty in London were the double-decker buses, and Emma and I got quite a lot of entertainment out of them. I feel like we're gonna run over him. I have not been fun of the Especially not for him. You may not know this, but the streets of London are only big enough for like one and a half vehicles, and most of the time there are two different ones going in opposite directions, as well as ones parked on the side. Oh my god, the bus. Ah! This feels like Harry Potter. Well, Sophia, Harry Potter was inspired by this. When you're on the top of double-decker buses, you feel like you're gonna run over people, especially bikers. Oh, that lady's going down. <laughs> London was spent in the British Museum, and you'll find out how you could have lost me. We were over there, and we were walking through, and I'm fairly sure this camera's trained on you, not me. It's trained on you, Emma. And this security guy starts saying, you better move through, stop walking through this area, and like, get to the other side. And I, moved, and I think it was because there was a left bag. Like, unattended, so it could have been a bomb, and we could have died. Of course, you can't go to a museum and skip the gift shop. So we've been looking for the most shameless objects that the British Museum are trying to sell to us, and we decided that the most shameless is this one. Although I did find nail files with the Rosetta Stone on them. Luckily, we escaped going to the Tate Museum and went here instead. We're on the London Eye, or in, or on. Emma is an even worse grammar Nazi. And that was my European trip summer 2015. my normal style of video and I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments below if you've ever been to Europe or out of the United States and who you traveled with because that can make the experience quite different. Anyways, keep calm, read on, and I'll see you in a video soon. Goodbye! If you enjoyed watching my adventures in Stockholm, Helsinki, and London, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you would like to see more content from me, you can always hit the subscribe button. My blog, Twitter, Instagram, and various social medias will be linked somewhere around my face, so go follow me there if you want to stay updated.